Hey guys, it's Nukit from Nukit.com and this is a speed RAM management and battery test between the Infinix Note 5 and the Hot S3, another most requested video. Before we begin, kindly hit that red button down below to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when the next video drops. First, let's begin with the boot up test. While that's powering on, let's go through some of the specs, similarities and differences. Both are 32GB storage and 3GB of RAM variants and that's where their similarities end. The Note 5 uses the MediaTek Helio P23 Octa-Core CPU clocked at 2.0GHz while the Hot S3 uses a Snapdragon 430 Octa-Core CPU clocked at 1.4GHz. Note 5 uses a Mali G71 GPU while the Hot S3 uses Adreno 505 GPU. The Note 5 is a Full HD Plus display while the Hot S3 is a HD Plus display. So the Infinix Note 5 booted up faster in 21 seconds while the Hot S3 booted up in 33 seconds. They're both on 100% battery life and set on max brightness. They're connected to the same Wi-Fi and have nothing running in the background. Note that this isn't a scientific test still or anything like that. So let's have fun with this one guys. So let's go ahead and open Twitter. Pretty much a draw here. Instagram The Note 5 opened Instagram faster Facebook It's faster on the Note 5 Snapchat Slightly faster on the Note 5 YouTube Slightly faster on the Hot S3 Eagle News faster on the Note 5, Play Store, slightly faster on the Hot S3, and Tutu Benchmarks, slightly faster on the Hot S3. Here's their benchmark scores. Smash Hit. Smash Hit opened up faster on the Note 5. <laughs> Oops. I actually forgot to skip the entire game's role, so I think the RAM management test would be more interesting to see now. Um, Snapseed, pretty much a draw here. Camera, a draw as well. Messages, the Hot S3 opened up faster, maybe because it has none, maybe. Settings, pretty much neck and neck. Speed test, the app opened on the Note 5 faster, but in the actual download and upload speed, we have a pretty mixed result. The Note 5 with a better download speed and the Hot S3 with a better upload speed. Don't be alarmed by the numbers, I throttle the speed of my Wi-Fi. Now onto the RAM management. Twitter. The Hot S3 refreshed but remains where we left off. Instagram. Both still in memory. Facebook. Both still in memory. Snapchat. Reopen Snapchat on both. YouTube. Reopen YouTube on both. I think the game I opened kinda took its toll on the RAM here. Eagle News, reopen Eagle News on both, Play Store, both still in memory, and Tutu. Note 5 reopen and Tutu. Smash Hit, just cause we did that already, both closed Smash Hit in the background. Snapseed, Note 5 reopened Snapseed. Camera, Hot S3 reopened Camera. Messages, Hot S3 reopened Messages. Settings, both reopen settings. Speed test. Both reopen speed test. So I'm just going to enter the running apps and wipe the slate clean for our game test and RAM management test. Let's start with the smash hit. Open fast now on the Infinix Note 5. PUBG, my favorite game right now. If you guys saw my PUBG gameplay on the Note 5, you'd love the game. Anyway, it's a heavy game, graphics intensive and all. I had no issues playing PUBG on the Note 5 on medium settings. PUBG opens faster on the Note 5 and runs smoother than on the Hot S3. The next game, Subway Surf. Note 5 is slightly faster here. Both handle it fairly well. Tempo run. Tempo run loaded faster on the Note 5. Let's open Smash Hit again. The Hot S3 kept Smash Hit in memory. PUBG. Hot S3 kept PUBG in memory, which is amazing for a game that you can actually pause in the real sense of it. 
On to the next game, Subrisoft. Again, Hot S3 kept it in memory. Lastly, we have Temple Run. Hot S3 seems to deliver the same result across the board when it comes to running multiple games, maybe because it's only a HD Plus display, while the Note 5 is doing a lot more tasks with the full HD Plus. But I mean, who knows, right? In terms of battery life, they are both down 4% of battery life as both of them are 96%. Again, this isn't a scientific test and surely it doesn't mean you get the same battery life on both. In my experience, the Note 5 delivers about 1 hour more screen on time than the Hot S3. The Hot S3 gets me up to 8 hours screen on time on the average 2 day use. Thanks for watching and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it. Also, follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you wish to see what I'm up to. Till next time guys, peace. Thank you.